through your hair. Oh my. <laughs> family what's up what's poppin hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is queen today i'm gonna be showing you how i made this marley twist this juicy marley twist you see right here you saw from the beginning so um the thing about the parting is you don't need uh, something different from how you do your regular box braids or knuckles braids it's just the same kind of parting except you want something different like you know but this is the box braid style I'm still doing but it's more like box twists <laughs> if that makes sense so yeah I'm using the bobby twist lock and twist hair it's um, it looks like that it's a Mali hair you can use this for twists for braids you can use it to style like different It's very versatile so I like it because it also feels very smooth and the texture is it doesn't hurt your hands it feels nice so basically if you know how to do your regular rope twist or Senegalese twist depends on how you call it wherever you're from some people call it rope twist some call it Senegalese twist or some people just call it twists so I first of all do regular like normal braids from the beginning like three or four times depending on the grip but before I do that I split the hair in two and then the braiding hair I have I split her natural hair in two then the braiding hair I have I split into three so her natural hair I put it together with two hands of the braiding hair I have splitted and then I braid with one of the braiding hair out and then her two natural hair with the other two hands if that makes sense I'll show you that very clearly shortly I'm going to zoom in and show you what I mean so I braid like three or four times down and then I share one of the hands into the other two to have only two strands or two hands and then I begin to twist so I twist each hand, the one on my right and the one on my left, and then I twist on that hand. So this is the zoomed part of it. You see what I mean? So I split the hair and then I split the braiding hair. So I braid like that is the third time, the fourth time, depending on the grip, grip <laughs> grasp, <laughs> I'm sorry, depending on the grip I have and then but sometimes i see that i braided up to like five or six times you know where the hair was thicker then i start to twist so that is what i do i twist on both hands then pass it underneath my right hand is my stronger hand so you see me twisting to the right i can also twist to the left and some people think that lasts longer and although i think People who twist to the left tend to have neater twists, I guess. But I don't know, it probably depends on practice and for how long you've been braiding, how you've mastered your art. So yeah, that's just basically it. And then I'll part, do all the rest and then the front. So after that, I just trim the bottom part. And then you see that this hair I'm using is an ombre blend of 1B and 27 I think yeah I'm going to link it in the description box below I got this from a hair supply store around me but I think you could also get like similar hair on Amazon but I don't know if it's the same brand but I'll just link it where I got mine from they also do um, DoorDash here in Phoenix they have Arizona I got it from Waba Hairs shout out to wapa hairs they have it's like a one-stop shop for everything so yeah that's basically it i'm in love with the parts they're so neat her scalp is neat her hair is soft and easy to work with so and she loved every single bit of it we had a good time our conversation and everything was just really nice so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so subscribe 
and turn on your notification bell i also do makeup like i'm a makeup artist i do makeup and i post makeup videos once a week or twice a week as the case may be sometimes i post hair videos all week sometimes i post makeup videos all week but i try to make it even like one makeup video and one hair video and sometimes just a vlog or like a food recipe when i cook or something so yeah you can turn on your notification to be involved with this family we would like to have you here and thank you so much to all my returning subscribers thank you for keeping me going it's because of you i'm still here tell your friends to tell a friend to tell another friend about me so yeah you guys enjoy the video and subscribe so see you Ooh, that last break guys it usually takes a toll on you you're already tired the client is tired everybody just feels tired and fed up <laughs> but this last braid feels like you're the champion when you arrive there okay so yeah this is like the end of it all and the braiding and the rest will just be the finishing usually um, she wanted the bouncy and kinky nature to remain so there was no point dipping the hair in hot water so I didn't do that if I dipped it in hot water it would have taken away the um, the curls and the bounciness it would have made it like kind of straight but not straight straight as in the regular braiding hair but yeah so I used the um, Olive Miracle moisturizer to moisturize our hair and i use the herbal essence hair mousse on my hair then i use the cantu oil sheen to spray so all this is just to give the finishing you know that shine and to moisturize to keep it looking you know fresh and has scalp to moisturize on oil has scalp to prevent dryness and all that so yeah and i'm not very good with edges don't laugh so i just did what i could yeah and that was this she was in love and i love this hair too this took us like what six hours i think or five five to six hours yeah to do this it was long because when you let it go it kind of shrinks back up and yeah so that is it don't forget to subscribe and see you guys again in my next video I love you. Bye-bye.